Onji has taken a state government regulator to VCAT after it was accused of being a, unable to mitigate mine fires due to inadequate staff numbers. The regulator says the Latrobe Valley community is currently at risk if changes aren't made. Isabella Stashkovsky has more. It's a repeat of the devastating 2014 mine fire the Earth Resources Regulation says it's trying to prevent. We're very disappointed that ONGI has taken this approach, but we are determined to get ONGI to re-establish a competent workforce to prevent and control potential mine fires. In early August, the regulator told ONGI it had allegedly breached a work plan as it didn't have enough staff to mitigate potential mine fires. ONGI disputed the claim and has now taken the matter to V. Cat. The Hazelwood Rehabilitation Project Director says Anji Hazelwood remains committed to ongoing productive consultations with Earth Resources Regulation to resolve the issues raised in the notice, but it's already raised grave concerns. It makes you wonder how much contempt they've got for the community more well. The regulator says the chance of a fire will increase in the coming weeks. For a blaze to spark, the temperature only needs to be above 20 degrees, with a wind speed of more than 15 kilometres an hour. To reduce risk, Earth Resources Resources Regulation says the current workforce of eight will need to increase fourfold. They will need to get upwards of 35 plus staff who are well trained and equipped on site 24 hours in those higher risk periods. Isabella Sashkovsky, Nine News. Union groups and regulators say they're concerned for community safety after a decision by NG to appeal its required number of fire staff at Hazelwood. The minimum staff standards were set after the 2014 mine fire. It may have happened four years ago, but the 2014 Hazelwood mine fire still weighs heavily on the valley's memory. People in Moore had to endure um, a toxic smoke and um, carbon monoxide for a month and a half, um, which is almost intolerable. A key finding of an inquiry into the fire detailed a need for a constant and proficient firefighting capability at the mine. The Earth Resources Regulator recently issued ONGI with a compliance notice, arguing for higher staffing numbers as summer approaches. But ONGI's appealed that notice to VCAT. That as we move into high and very high and extreme fire conditions, we need this workforce back in place so that they've got the right people trained and equipped to be prepared to respond. Unions are also concerned, fearing staff who previously held the fire positions weren't adequately trained. The people that were working there were mine operators. Um, we're asking that ENGI engage people with suitable um, fire training and qualifications to provide a professional first response. Onji's unable to comment on specifics while the matter's before the tribunal, but says it remains committed to working with the Earth Resources Regulation to resolve the notice. Danielle Pope, Win News.